Right, this is why I do my checks. Uh, he's bleeding again. I'm not expecting that. I actually didn't check him. He was the only one. Look, you can see blood here already. What's going on guys welcome back to another video welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are okay hope you guys are safe as always and welcome back to another video it's actually sunny day again in the uk as you can see uh, but it is cold um and here we are again doing another video um i was gonna film if you have been watching my previous videos i was gonna film the pairs that will be uh putting in this cage if you've been following along the breeding series which is where i set up a cage and pair up birds and the correct way of, of setting up a breeding cage you would know that in this video was i was supposed to um pair up my birds but i'm not gonna do it at the moment uh, at least to, for now just because yesterday was actually the coldest uh, night that these budgies have experienced bearing in mind guys if you may know if you've been following my channel for quite a while this is uh, I've built this cage in the summer and this is the first time that they will be staying here in winter now yesterday was six degrees which is pretty cold at night um, and I've had to cover all this up with these blankets here uh, obviously with the heater on um, but thankfully the heater the heat maintained in this side of the cage now I'm a bit worried about these two guys because as you know um, she's on eggs as you can see she's on three eggs I've taken one out because one wasn't good I did candle them uh, one of them is fertilized and already has an embryo so um, I'm a bit worried about these guys worst case scenario I'm gonna have to hand rear it and raise it up myself just because I don't want them to suffer from the cold and all that and I obviously don't want to put a heater in here having two heaters run at the same time is a bit you know too much you know so what I will do I would monitor the temperatures I modern monitor her uh, monitor the embryo as well how it's doing uh, worst case scenario I'm gonna have to get myself a um, incubator and how hand rear it myself because um, I don't want to risk you know my budgies because of the cold and all that um, but yeah I do care about a lot about budgies many, many of you may say oh there's no problem but you know these guys are just my pride possession let's say and and i want nothing none of that to happen but yeah i'm gonna just do a you know a daily vlog here today um nothing too special i was gonna pair them up um but i'm not gonna reveal to you because i'm still one to uh you know make it a surprise for you guys want you know make it make it something interesting for you guys it's currently midday um here in the uk right now Obviously, I've already done my uh, checks, my feedings, but I do like to go um, every four hours, every every once in a while, checking them, checking up on them. So, as you can see, the pond here, it's pretty clear. It's not green, but it is yellow. It is yellow because of the leaves. The leaves have been falling. It's fall here in the UK. Uh, leaves have been falling from this apple tree, and it's making this water, making this water yellow. Um, my net broke, so as you can see, usually there's a net. The string uh, tensioner thing broke, so yep, um, I need to get new ones of them. But the turtles look like they're hibernating at the moment, so that's why there's no movement at all in the water. Um, they're under the leaves, which is um, actually their fourth winter, fourth fifth winter here, they're all together here. So um, they're you know pretty used to it already. Um, but yeah, they're obviously not feeding. I'm obviously not feeding them because they are hibernating. Turtles do not eat when it's under 16 degrees and never come up. So yeah, they're obviously hibernating. But yeah, the weather here in the UK is sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. Like yesterday was super cold. Now it's pretty hot actually. It's probably around 14, 15 degrees at the moment. Uh, obviously with a few breezes of wind. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just doing my checks. Just wanted to show you my checks, um, what I do. Obviously I don't have a lot of animals. Obviously when I have a lot of animals, I'm gonna have to do this really constantly, but I only have the pond and the birds. So it's pretty simple. Don't have to be out here every time. But yeah, I'm just now actually gonna do my checks uh, in here. Uh, obviously checked it already. 
checked half of them. I usually like to check all of them, making sure they're okay. I like to monitor, monitor them a little bit. And, um, oh, I nearly fell there. I like to monitor them a bit, uh, making sure. Right, this is why I do my checks. Oh my God. So if you guys haven't checked this video out, just click this um, this pop-up banner right here. This will take you to my um, pin feather video. And as you guessed it, talking about pin feathers. Hey bud, how are you doing? So as you guessed it, uh, he's bleeding again. Now I probably centered this out due to monetization reasons, um, but yeah, he's bloody bleeding again. He treat that blood to the egg again. I was not expecting that. I actually didn't check him. He was the only one I didn't check. I like to pop my head in here, making sure everybody's okay. But he's he's obviously got that. Look, you can see blood here already as well. This I'm not going to censor. It's like small amounts, but that that is just outrageous. Right. Um, let me just. Um, I need to grab him up. Look at that. That is massive. It's a lot of blood. But yeah, I need to um, grab him up. I need to treat him. Uh, see which one is. He's bleeding. So I did say this guy, this bird is one of the, is the only one that has this uh, defected kind of birth thing that every, every blood feather he grows, all of them bleed out. I don't get it. And I always, every time I have to pull them out. So, oh, sorry there, but sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. Do you mean that? But yeah, guys, I'm gonna get back to you guys uh, and um, treat this real quick. This is gonna bring me on to something important. Why it's important to check on your birds every once in a while, every times, every couple times a day, because you never know something like this could happen. This wasn't like this in the morning when I came to open this whole thing up. Um, it was not like that. So he probably he probably was preening and he bursted that blood feather out because. Uh, that wasn't like that in the morning when I came in. So um, I'm going to talk a bit bit more in, later in this video. Why is it important to to um, check on your birds, especially when you have more than ten birds or more than five birds? It's really important that you monitor them, have a quick, uh, have a thorough look on them because you never know something like this. You never know something like this could happen. So um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly gonna treat this. If you wanna see me treat this, uh, click this pop-up banner right here. This will take you to that video. Um, and yeah, I'll show me treating it. If you wanna see, I'll see if I can do an uncensored version so you can see, but it's not really that big of a deal. But yeah, let me uh, treat this real quick and we'll get back to you guys. So yeah, I've done it. As you can see, it's wet and the blood pepper is right there. But yeah, let's take him back into the cage. Um, I'm gonna actually take him like this outside. Uh, he's not gonna fly away because I trust him. No, I'm joking. He's obviously not gonna fly away because he's drenched, he's wet and he can't fly. So uh, as you can see, what's up? Come on, look at him, gorgeous bird. But yeah, let's take him inside. Gonna wait there for me? Yeah? Please? There we go. <clears throat> there you go. Feeling better now, huh? Come on. And there. And there. And there. Come on. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Come on. There you go, bud. Feeling better now, eh? Yeah, yeah. he should dry off. Uh, obviously did it with warm water. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'd suggest you check it out. Um, very educated video. Um, but yeah, and yeah, it brings me on to this point. Why you should check your birds every time? Well, anything could happen in a short amount of time, especially when you have a colony 
you know, a colony of budgies. Usually there's a, do uh, the, there's a dominant female, so the dominant, the highest one, where no one, uh, you know, messes with her. Uh, usually in the wild, it's like, in the wild, it's like that. But once you have 15 birds in captivity, it's a bit different. And it's very important for you guys to check your budgies many times a day, because something like this could happen and you may not notice it until next day, or maybe later in the evening when it could be too late. Uh, that's why I always check my birds, um, you know, many times a day, especially when, um, especially having, you know, a lot of birds like I do here. In total, uh, I have roughly around 15 to 17 birds, probably excluding these guys here in this cage. Um, and yeah, uh, it's very important, guys. Or you could have a situation like mine, like a blood feather, something, or blood. You could even have a bird... Uh, you know, just finish a fight at the bottom of the cage, could be severely injured, or you could possibly have chicks which have fallen or have died, and or you could possibly have a female or you know, egg bindings, anything could happen in a short amount of times when having uh, a colony of birds like this. And uh, it's facts, guys, it's not you know, a bunch of it's not a story, it's not uh, just a um. You know content for the video no it's facts and i've had experiences where i've been away and uh, in a small amount of time as soon as i left the cage uh, a female attacked the chicks that were in the nest box and two of them died um, and it was like this budgies are usually a bit more aggressive than other birds so say for ex example canaries finches you know budgies are more bullies uh, and that's why more aggressive, more active, more, you know, uh, you know, they're more savage, let's say. Uh, that's why, you know, when only budgies, yeah, it's, it's very cute, they're beautiful, but, you know, you also have to take in mind, you know, possible things that could happen. Uh, not just for budgies, but for other birds, especially when you have, you know, aviaries and um, more than one animal in one cage. Um, and yeah, I was not, I was not planning to make this video, guys. Um, it was completely out of the blue. It, was, it happened like that, as I said. And usually with blood feathers, you have to treat it ASAP. Otherwise, they could bleed to death, especially when it's cold, guys. Uh, when it's cold, but, uh, birds lose a lot of heat. Uh, and add bleeding to that, you only have a number of hours, you know, until stuff gets worse. So, um, yeah, if I did find it in the morning, I would have treated it uh, ASAP. It happened, you know, just in a couple of hours. It happened so quickly, it started bleeding. Uh, I only noticed it when I actually started this video, as you guys saw from my reaction. Um, but that's the importance, guys, of checking your uh, your cages, checking your birds. Um, you know, if you're if you're working all day, buy a camera, buy a blink camera, you guys. If you haven't checked it out, check the video out right here or we'll appear right here. I have to set up a blink camera, guys. It's something cheap. Uh, it's better. It's cheaper than going to the vet if something happens. You know. So I'd recommend buying a camera, you know, recommend having a good checkup on your birds daily, um, you know, making sure that everybody's okay, making sure that there's no diseases, making sure that, you know, uh, no one's sick, no one's bleeding, you know, making sure your chicks, if you are breeding, making sure your chicks are doing well, make sure the mummy's feeding them, all of that. Um, also have, you know, uh, soft food uh, for babies just in case I always have this available just in case of a bird not being fed by a mother I always have that as backup uh, to feed them it doesn't take anything to check your birds daily it only takes a couple of steps a few peeks and looks here and there uh, and that's enough guys if you notice something out of the ordinary um, you know consider considering checking on that specific bird uh, more times something really important just like as a baby if you if you're a mother and you have a baby or you're your father and you have a baby you're obviously going to check up on them even if when they're sleeping you know it's just like them these are little buddies little babies little little fat balls they're so beautiful and obviously check on them if you really care on them uh check on them because if you don't don't even bother having birds or pets or anything like that uh, but yeah guys that's gonna do it for today's video it's you know unexpected video i was not expecting this you know this video i was actually gonna do a daily vlog kind of thing um you know i was actually gonna make some soft food for them uh, which i will but i'm not gonna do it in the video because obviously there's you know quite a bit of footage here already to um you know to post so sorry if the video was a bit boring but it also was a bit unexpected i was not expecting this to happen but um 
<laughs> yeah, that's the importance of checking up on your birds, uh, making sure that they're okay. Um, I will probably do my uh, preparing for winter next week, depending on how the, how the weather is. If the weather continues to be uh, on the single figures, um, then we will start to do that. And I'll show you how I cover my sh uh, flight cage up. I have to monitor this girl and her egg. Uh, I also have to monitor him and making sure that he is uh, doing the correct thing of what a father does. So, um, yeah, I did give this a cage a clean up. And we have some good news, which is um, I'm kind of excited for it. We're probably going to make a proper aviary this time, but we'll see. We'll see. Nothing. I didn't say nothing yet, so um, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new here, my name is Lucas Ferraz, and I do content just like this. Sometimes it can be unexpected. Sometimes it can be, you know, topics that are educative or maybe topics that some of you are not even um, familiar of. Sometimes topics that people uh, are stuck with, uh, such as, um, you know, breeding, setting up a breeding cage or maybe even uh, a soft food mix. If you click up here, this will take you to one of my popular videos um, of the budgies and all uh, and all that so um yeah consider subscribing if you click this big red button right here it's completely free um, this will help the channel grow this will help me grow and create more content for you guys to actually watch and help you learn a bit more it will also uh, help me get a bit more pets so we can you know learn and you know discover new stuff new behaviors and all that this is what this channel is about this channel is all about pets and just you know my hobby uh, hopefully one day we can get a proper you know location so we can have uh, proper enclosures and all that so um, yeah consider subscribing if you do like these kinds of videos consider hitting the like button if you click on my channel this will take you to my some of my previous videos and if you want to check them out yeah just check them out um, they are educative some of them are very um, funny as uh, the London Zoo one if you want to check that out as well that will be there or if you click up here that will take you up to there as well um so yeah that's gonna do it guys i hope you guys enjoyed uh it was a bit of a strange video like uh, in the moment video let's say but yeah i'll see you guys on next week sunday at 11 p.m hope you guys have a great day god bless you all bye bye